I see the bald eagle nestling right here. Yeah, so here it is, right in the nest right here. And I couldn't find the, uh, the parent, you know, the male parent on the bare branch. So I'm here filming the nestling today. This is just very hard to tilt at such great zoom. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. That's as far as my digital zoom will go. So, yeah, I found the nest. The nest is safe, and there's the eaglet right there. And it managed to survive two massive rainstorms and there's still the trees blocking the trail right now so let me just show you where I am here oh yeah all the way over here okay and that's where the the blockage is right over there and there's like two like trees you know if I go right over here you'd be able to see it so. And luckily I didn't fall off the edge of the, the thing where the where the creek is right here because there is a creek which you can't see from this this from this position only because I'm trying to record the bald eagle right here I don't want to mess anything up right here is this where the bald eagle is oh there it is yeah haha <laughs> And of course, my my position is just off by like like a hundredth of a degree, literally. So I just need to tilt this down a little bit. So now we should be good. And here comes a train. So every 15 minutes or so, you'll hear a train coming. That train is actually the river line. It runs from Trenton all the way down to Philly. And this is a very beautiful bald eagle nestling right here. I'm very glad to film him today. You can see he's got his beak open. That means he's hot. Yeah, that's how they keep cool, by having their their beak open like that. And he's flashing his gorgeous wings. Oh, that is so amazing. Wow, look at that. You are getting a display right there. So let's see what else this bald eagle does. I'm always so fascinated. So yeah, this bald eagle is almost full grown now. I mean, he could leave the nest at any minute. That's called fledge, fledging, fledging. Yeah, did I say that word right? Fledging? Yeah, fledging. When they fly from the nest, they just take one great leap and that's all it takes. That's right. So what's this bald eagle doing now? Probably just some preening. Yeah, let's observe this bald eagle right here. Oh, by the way, if you want to know where I'm located, I am located at the Delaware and Raritan State Park on the towpath trail. 
which is located in Bordentown, New Jersey. And the trail is right next to the Bordentown Yacht Club and the um, Riverview Studios. I was trying to remember the name of it. And I'm about one and a half miles down the trail. So you would see two green chairs. And once you see a gray post, okay, I'm only a quarter mile from that location. So now you know where the nest is. And it'll be to your right. And you'll see a opening um, where there's a bunch of trees that are just underneath and it's kind of caved in on the top so you know it's uh it's like a upside down cave where all the trees are blocking the view underneath that point but this is absolutely perfect because this is the only spot where i can actually see this bald eagle's nest since the rainstorm that we had because it blew some trees down and the uh, the view that i had before is not that great um, I mean the view from here isn't really that great either since there's leaves where the nest is but unfortunately I don't have the ability to um, get to any other good spot because the only other good spot that I would think of is behind the nest and behind the nest is actually all water yes there is a lake uh, right behind the nest and there are chaos kayakers and um, boaters that regularly use the the lake and there's fishermen that fish there too um, speaking of fishing you know eagles like to fish too so that's why this nest is near lake <laughs> because they like to hunt for fish and this is the best place where they can find it so the parents are providing quite well for this bald eagle right here. And I'm glad it's doing great. So I'm just going to keep this on record and film it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. All right. He's ready to, to go out into the world. That's right. He is ready. What if he fledges like... Look at those gorgeous wings. Like, I had to just zoom out just to see those wings because those wings are huge. Do that again. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, yes. Do it again, do it again. Yes, I want to see that wing flapping. No, no, not yet. I'm still waiting. Mm, he's just sitting there right now. Zoom it in here. It's as far as I can zoom. Yeah, seems like he's looking around, observing his surroundings. That's good. He'll be ready to hunt in no time. I'm guessing this is a male bald eagle, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's a male. Although its wings look pretty big, I mean... <laughs> I'd probably say just based on that alone, I have to say that it's a female. Um, but either way, it's it's very beautiful, and I'm glad that I'm I'm filming this. I'm gonna try to film this as long as I can today. I actually worked overtime at Amazon today, and let me zoom out here. And. Uh, not only did I work overtime, I actually worked an extra half hour today. 
and that was mandatory overtime. Although for me, it was just voluntary since I didn't really have to work today. <laughs> I just wanted the extra money, so I did. So that means I'm working 52 and a half hours this week. Yeah. I highly recommend working at Amazon. You'll start out at $15 an hour. Not too shabby, right? So that's my little message to you. To work for Amazon and tell them that Jeremy Herzl sent you. If you're working at the facility that I work at. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're now looking at this bald eagle right here. Just observing what it's going to do next. Because you just never know. That's the thing about nature is, you know, you have a lot of footage and you really just don't know what's going to happen, which is why I like to try to keep that record button on as long as possible. And here comes another train. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's as far as my digital zoom will go. That is it. Hmm, looks like this bald eagle has his eyes closed, but no wait, he's just turning his head. Yeah, I think this is a really good uh, zoom position right here. At least I think it is. Oh, if you want to know what time I usually get here, well, it depends on how late I'm working at Amazon. But I usually leave at 5.30, but today I left at 6. So I didn't arrive at the park until around, well, 6.20 or so. And it takes, sometimes it can take more than five minutes just to get out of the parking lot because there's only one exit out of the parking lot and there's like a hundred employees or more that are there at the same time that I am. But usually I'll be here at 6 or 6.15. Like I said, depends on how many people are getting out of the parking lot. Weekends are more favorable I can usually get here at a pretty decent time um, on the weekends because there aren't as many people working on the weekends. Um, can I tilt this up a little bit? Let me see if I can tilt it up. There we go, okay. Yeah, and usually I leave around 8 o'clock, but there's been some times where I've stayed as late as 9, even on a night where I would have to wake up early the next day, because I'm just so obsessed in filming these bald eagles. Like, I don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't just film them. Like, I really film them to observe them. I like to spy on them. That's what I like to do. I like to see what their life is like. Yeah.
I mean, I love all birds of prey. I mean, the bald eagle isn't my absolute favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Okay, let me zoom back in again. Yeah, I um, ran out of time. Yes, there's actually time limit as to how long I can record each clip. 15 minutes is the limit. So I hit the record button again once that happens, like just within a couple seconds. And nothing's changed, the bald eagle's still there. And by the way, uh, I'm using a Nikon Coolpix P900 to record this eagle's nest right here. It's got 83x optical zoom as well as 130 something x digital zoom, I believe. But even with the digital zoom, this is quite impressive. I mean, this is maxed out on digital zoom. I can't, I can't go any further. That's it. I've gone all the way to max. So hopefully uh, the footage will be a lot more stable um, now that uh, I'm using a new tripod. I'm still learning how to use it though. I haven't fully mastered it yet because there is this knob that I'm still trying to work with. So as soon as I read the instruction manual, and since I'll be here for a while, why not? Why not read the instruction manual and then I'll be able to... Uh, hopefully I'm not blocking the view because I'm grabbing this bag from in front of the camera. Okay, great. <sighs> So that is beautiful. Like, look at that. You can't get a better, well, I mean, if, if the leaves weren't there, I would get a better image. But that is still a very fantastic image that I'm looking at right here on this tripod. It's a Zomi IQ666 tripod. And it was about 40 something dollars on eBay. So I got a good deal on it. I did quite a bit of searching to find it for that cheap of a price. And it was recommended because I, I saw a YouTube video that said it's a good tripod, but this knob on the side, like I can't figure out how it works. And uh, even the bottom tripod where you tilt it from left to right, it's very, very sensitive. Like you can tilt it just an inch and the whole subject is out of frame like I was expecting a tripod that that can tilt in very small increments but I guess I would have to spend a couple hundred dollars on a tripod to get that kind of, of, uh, of uh, settings I guess you could say So what you think? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool bald eagle right there, huh? I have to agree. And of course, it tilts its head up. So let me just zoom out a little bit. That way you can see its head completely. Kind of the biggest question is, should I take advantage of the full optical zoom or not? Or the full digital zoom, rather. Um, but I think we'll just keep it like this for now. Let me look at the instruction manual here, the lovely instruction manual. Let's see, contents, lens filter. Yes, it does have... Uh, 
Oh, this just tells me other products. Ah, of course. Hmm. Actually, lights that I could put on to my tripod for the dark, but that's not really necessary for hawk watching because <laughs> I already know they roosted before that point. Although I have seen one fly away when it was almost pitch black. Yeah, I don't know like why it flew like. Sometimes it just wants to roost there, and sometimes it doesn't. I'm talking about the bare branch, by the way, not the nest. You're not going to see the parents at the nest. I mean, at least not now. I mean, you used to see them during incubation season, you know, after the mating season. But now they're elsewhere. They don't actually sleep with the eagle. But the other day, well, I'm sorry, that was yesterday, actually. I saw the mother tuck the eaglet into bed. Yeah, as soon as she left, I could not see the eaglet in sight because he was hidden in the nest, or she was hidden. So I'm just gonna continue to observe this bald eagle right here. She's not really doing anything.
Yeah, I do want to check to see if the male is on the tree branch, the male bald eagle. So if you give me a second, I'll be right back. this up a little bit. Huh? So I'm starting the recording again here.
it's always great to see this bald eagle right here. Yeah, I haven't mastered this camera yet. And I try to tilt this um, these numbers, but nothing happens. I know, right? comes the train. Preening. That's great. Preening. I know you can't see this bald eagle's head. Now I could zoom it out or I could do this. Somehow.
So it's just a matter of, oh, wait a minute, oh. I was almost afraid I lost it. There we go, okay. That is just so perfect right there. Look at it flash its wings. Oh my gosh. I always love it when they do that. Yeah. I'm going to try to tilt this screen so that it's facing the front of the camera only because there we go yeah only because um, the bugs are kind of bothering me from the bushes yeah so if I if I do this from here then we should be good <laughs> yeah so it doesn't matter if I'm looking at the bald eagle directly or if I'm looking behind the bald eagle where the camera is. Yeah, so actually I'm almost literally pointing at the lens, but I shouldn't have a problem right here, although it's a little bit laying on the trail is not as great as on the grass. But oh well, it'll have to do, I guess. Yeah, I sort of like the other position better. This isn't really so great. Oh, there he is, flashing his wings. And did this camera just tilt a little bit? Or am I just thinking things? Oh crap, what did I just do? Oh. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he just moved to a different spot in the nest, that's why. Yeah, so I think I like this spot better. Here comes the train again. So, yeah, you're always going to hear those trains every 15 minutes or so. Let's 
always the most difficult thing to when he when he's moving around the nest. Oh yeah, flashing his wings, all right, yeah. Oh, he relieved himself. Yeah. And flashing those wings again, yeah.
what's going on? What am I seeing here? What's this bald eagle doing now? Yes, we're back in business. All right. Finally. Okay, so there is the bald eagle right there. So now you were able to see how far away I was from it. Okay, it's definitely eating something this time. All right, I'm, I'm absolutely positively sure of it. So I'm guessing it's something that has been dropped off the nest and it's been there for a while now. So what happens is the bald eagle eats it and then falls asleep and then eats again. You know, they just eat and sleep all day. And, uh, yeah, there it is. And if I can just tilt this up a little bit, then I'll be able to see it even better. Just need to put this down. Yeah, so there it is. Beautiful thing right there. I love watching bald eagles. So it looks like I got the footage after all. I'm sorry if I missed the, uh, the feeding. But it looks like we're still getting into it, right? Hmm. I really wonder what this bald eagle's got. <laughs> I'm just about ready to pop the question. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> the question is. <laughs> Did this eagle save some for me? <laughs> that depends on what it is. Could be a tasty fish. Could be. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I do want to tilt this up a little bit, this camera. And, of course, just doesn't seem to want to cooperate, this camera right here. So you can see him really 
spreading his wings out. That's always very cool to see, that's for sure. So he's just hopping around in his nest. So I'm just going to keep the zoom level right there. So you can see he's like going to another part of his nest now. Right there actually. Man. He's going from like place to place. So he's jumping. Oh, I really got to see this. Yeah, he's on the other side of the tree. That's why he can't see it, which is unfortunate. Like he's almost there. That that step. It's just that one step it has to take. Then she can leave her nest. Whatever could it be that this bald eagle is eating? I'm just trying to figure that out. 
Look at those gorgeous wings right there. Look at that. She's putting on a show for me right now. So you can really see that's a, a good sized nest right here. Where'd he go this time? Oh, there we go. <laughs> right in the nick of time. I just zoomed out as soon as, as soon as she spread her wings. It's just uh, tilting. I just gotta. Tilt it a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, there we go. She just can't wait to leave her nest, can she? That is absolutely spectacular right there. Spectacular wing display. You really can't go wrong with that. You really can't. Oh yeah. So beautiful. So there she is. comes the train again. She seems to be curious about that train. <laughs> Strangely enough, um, I know one thing, the parents are used to seeing it because when it goes by, like I don't see them turn their head or nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's gonna spread her wings again. Looks like she is. Wow, she's standing up real tall like. I hear, a, I hear a robin very close to me somewhere. Oh, there we go, flashing her wings again. That's great, huh? So I think I know what happens at the end of the day, all right? So the bald eagle is supposed to come. I mean, it hasn't came yet. 
But what happens is, at the end of the day, she takes the prey away, okay? Now, I don't know what she does with it. You know, maybe she eats some of it herself, or she just throws it out, you know? I mean, it has no use in the nest because, I mean, it's, it's going to be rotten by tomorrow, you know what I mean? So they, they have a sense of etiquette, I guess you could say. I mean, as to how much depends on how often an eagle hunts. I mean, if it hunts for their meals, then obviously their meals are fresh. If they scavenge for their meals, then maybe like a day or two old, maybe. And I see this bald eagle is at another spot right there. Right there. Yeah, she seems to be all over that nest right there. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. That is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at that. Sadly, she's flapping her wings, but she's not going anywhere. <laughs> She's just staying right there. But she's just not quite ready yet. Just, just not quite ready. You know, maybe by next week, she'll be fledging for sure. But not today. I gotta start a new recording. All right, so we are back. There's the eagle.
Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I know, I did it again. Oh, here comes the train. Sorry. Once again. I know, I make that ferocious call. It's like...
as it gets darker, it'll start to be harder to see this bald eagle. I mean, I can zoom it in a little bit further, like that. But it doesn't really make any difference. Because pretty much all the light is all behind it because of the location of the nest. It actually seems to be a little bit better zoomed out. So I'll have to see if I can find the male bald eagle. Maybe it's back. At this point in time, it's going to be really hard to see this bald eagle. If I, had, if I had started filming right now, there'd be no way I would be able to find it. I mean, it would be very difficult because now the bald eagle is looking kind of like the tree branches that are surrounding it. I mean, it looks just as dark. It doesn't stand out anymore. But the good thing is, I know exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. At what spot it's at. Yeah, I mean... The footage is only going to... You know, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to film a little bit longer. The reason why I'm filming a little bit longer is because I actually don't have work tomorrow. I'm actually off. So... I figured I'd try to film this until sunset. And by the way, the male bald eagle isn't on the rare branch I checked. 
All right, starting a new recording again. So you can still see the bald eagle, it's still there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's going to be there until you know, it goes to sleep, then it's going to be hidden in the nest. Yeah, so the idea is that the parents make sure the eaglet or or any other bird of prey is protected because other animals may try to attack while it's sleeping. Yes, it can actually happen. Owls hunt at night. You obviously know what owls catch, okay? Pretty much anything that's normally asleep at night because the easiest target is something that's asleep because it's defenseless when it's asleep. So the idea is to hide in a secluded location so that the owls can't get to them. I mean, the owls can't see them is really the goal here, the objective, okay? So very soon the mother eagle is gonna tuck this baby in. I, I know she'll come. I'm just almost convinced that that's why she was at the nest last time. But I could be wrong. Maybe it was just dropping off a fish for this bald eagle to eat. Or it doesn't have to be a fish. It could be a rabbit or um, what else? Maybe a duck. Yeah, they catch ducks too. There it is. This is pretty much going to be the last 12 minutes and 55 seconds that I have left of recording it. Unless, of course, you know, this eaglet ends up falling asleep at some point, which I know it's going to very soon. So you can still see it, oh, just barely, barely. And the lighting isn't really so great on this camera. I just wish that it was a little bit better because for some reason when I stop the recording, the, the lighting gets brighter. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. And I, I went and changed my settings of my camera and everything. Oh, well. I guess that's okay. I wish I could look at the menu while I'm recording, but unfortunately the menu button doesn't press. Yeah, I press menu, nothing happened. See, look. Nope, nothing happened. Huh. I guess it only has so much memory when it's recording. certainly past this eaglet's bedtime. I'd have to say that again. Mm, yeah, I don't think that... I don't think the mother eagle's gonna come. I don't think so.